In this video, we will explain how you can evaluate the progress and manage your survey team with the Survey Solutions Supervisor application. During field work, you can view reports that can help you evaluate the overall progress of the survey for your team. Click on the Reports tab to see a list of available reports. There are five types of reports available to you. The survey and statuses, team members and statuses, quantity, speed, map report, and survey statistics. We will now discuss the purpose of each of these reports. All the reports except the map report can be downloaded in Excel, CSV, or tab delimited format. The survey and statuses report. The survey and statuses report summarizes the progress of each survey that you are overseeing. The first column contains the name of the questionnaire and the questionnaire version. The subsequent columns correspond to each possible status of an interview in the Survey Solutions survey workflow. Each cell in the report captures the number of cases that are in each phase of data collection. The last column has the total number of cases for each questionnaire. To show the summary report for an individual team member, click on the drop-down menu below Interviewer Team and select the member whose summary you want to see. To show the list of interviews for the specific status of a questionnaire, click on the number of interviews in the column for the status, and then you will be directed to the list of interviews for that survey with that status. The Team Members and Statuses Report The Team Members and Statuses Reports displays a count of the cases in each status by team members. Using the filter on the panel on the left-hand side of the screen, you can show the progress only for one particular survey. To do this, click on the drop-down menu below Questionnaire and select the desired questionnaire. To show the list of interviews for a specific phase of data collection, click on the number of interviews in the status column of interest. The Quantity Reports The Quantity Report shows the number of interviews that were completed by the interviewers in your team or were approved or rejected by you over a certain period of time. To see the Quantity Report, select Quantity from the Reports menu. The Quantity Report provides the following reports for each of the questionnaire template. Number of completed interviews. This provides the number of completed interviews for each data collection team. Note that interviews that have been rejected and then completed again are counted as an additional completed interview. Number of interview transactions by supervisor. This provides the number of supervisor approval and rejections on interviews collected by each data collection team. To use this report, select which of the two type of report you are interested in, and then the questionnaire template. After that, use the Over the Previous and Period Unit drop-down menus to specify the time period that you would like the report to cover. The maximum number that can be put into the Over the Previous drop-down menu is 12. Then, define the time interval, day, week, or month, as the period unit, and then the starting date for the report. For example, Selecting the number of completed interviews over the last four weeks shows how many interviews were completed by each member of your team during this period. The top row of the report shows the total number of interviews completed during this time period. The last column of the report shows the total number of interviews completed over the last four weeks for each member of your team. The average column displays the average number of interviews completed per week by your whole team on the first row and then by each team member. Speed Report There are two types of speed reports available, and like the quantity reports, these can be customized in the same manner. Average interview duration provides the average time it took to complete an interview for all the interviews completed. The interview duration is defined as the difference between the first recorded answer on the tablet and when the complete button was selected. Average case assignment duration provides the average time difference between the survey case assignment to an interviewer, and the moment the interviewer completes all the interviews in an assignment on the tablet. To use the speed reports, select the interviewer actions of report and the questionnaire template. Specify the time period for the report by first selecting the number of time interval that you would like to display in the report using the over the previous drop-down menu. Then, define the time interval, day, week, or month, in the period unit drop-down menu and then the starting date for the report. For example, 
Selecting the average interview duration over the last four weeks shows the average duration of interviews completed by each member of your team during this period. The last column of the report shows the total interview time for the last four weeks for every member of your team. The average column displays the average interview duration of the last four weeks for each team member. The map reports. Select map report from the reports menu. The map report provides information about the GPS questions that were collected in the interview. It could be useful to help spot issues with interviews based on where the data was collected. To use the map report, specify the questionnaire you want to see the data mapped in the filters panel on the left. You can also select the variable for the GPS question you are interested in. This is useful when the questionnaire has several GPS questions that are supposed to record different sets of coordinates. For example, location of a household and location of plots. Survey statistics. The survey statistics report presents basic statistics calculated on the data from interviews that are currently on the server. This eliminates the need to export the data for the calculation of these statistics. The report can only be shown for a single question within a selected questionnaire. In our example, it is the AQE survey and the selected question is about current dwelling cost. This report can only be generated for numeric questions and categorical questions. Depending on the question type, the report may be presented in one of two modes, tabulation or summary statistics. Summary statistics mode is always applied for the numeric question, and tabulation mode is always applied for categorical, either single select or multi select questions. The report for the numeric questions displays the following descriptive statistics in the columns count, average, median, sum, minimum, maximum, and the 5th, 50th, and 95th percentiles. The first row in the report shows the statistics for the team as a whole, and the other rows of the report correspond to each interviewer. The values may be restricted by specifying a minimum and maximum value. The report for categorical questions presents a frequency count for the selected question by its answer options in the columns and each interviewer in the rows. The report may be filtered by categories of a second categorical question by selecting a condition question in the filters pane. For example, the tabulation of using fertilizer may be reported separately for different types of plot ownership. If a two-way tabulation is of interest, it can be produced by checking the pivot table checkbox. In this case, the question selected as the condition question will be used in the two-way tabulation with the selected question of interest under the question drop-down menu. The selection of teams or interviewers is not displayed in the report in this case. The report can be downloaded in Excel, CSV, or tab delimited format. Managing your team. Another component of the supervisor application is the interviewer information dashboard that you can navigate to by clicking on the Teams and Rows tab on the bar at the top of the screen. This tab is meant to help supervisors manage the interviewers on their team by displaying information about each of the interviewers on their team. The first column shows the interviewer's login name, and the second column shows the date that the account was created on. The last column shows the current version of the interviewer application that is on the interviewer's tablet. Using the drop-down menus on the left side of the screen, the supervisor can filter by common interview issues and the interviewer account's archive status. To manage an interviewer account, click on the interviewer's name. This will lead you to the interviewer's profile page. On the interviewer's profile page, you can find information about the interviewer, an interviewer's counter, a map report for the interviewer's movement, a graphic showing the interviewer's recent synchronization activity, detailed device information, and synchronization statistics. A detailed actions log for the interviewer is available under the link Show Actions Log at the top. This log allows the supervisor to view important actions that were performed by the interviewers on the tablet, such as application start and login activities, starting an interview, discarding an interview, synchronization attempts, and other actions that were taken in the last seven days. The actions log can also be downloaded in a tab delimited format. The actions log is updated with every synchronization of the interviewer's tablet to the server. If a tablet has never synchronized, then there is no way for the supervisor to know 
what actions were taken by the interviewer since this information has not yet been sent to the server. The map report for interviewer's movement shows historical positions of the interviewer on the map. This report is interviewer specific and shows the location of all the interviewer's interviews in chronological order, along with colors highlighting the current status of each interview, blue for started, green for completed, and red for rejected. We will now go through solutions to three frequently encountered problems with team management. Number one, to add an interviewer or reset account credentials, contact headquarters. Only headquarters has the authority to perform those actions. Number two, to reset an interviewer's password, click on the interviewer's name. Once you're on the interviewer's page, click on the Edit Personal Info link. Then, enter a new password for the interviewer and then confirm it by entering the same password again. Click on the Update button to set the interviewer's new password. Number three. Interviewers may leave the survey project for a variety of reasons, from illness to poor job performance. If such a situation arises, you will need to lock the account. Before locking the account, make sure to recover all interviews from the interviewer's tablet by completing all the interviews and syncing it to the server. To lock the account, click on the name of the interviewer whose account you want to lock. Next, click on the Edit Personal Info link and then check the box next to Is Locked by Supervisor. Finally, click on the Update button and this interviewer's account will now be locked. To unlock the account, perform the same steps and uncheck the checkbox. For more information, please visit our support site.